Hey y'all, it's Kanika popping back in with another video. Now, the title says we are going to be folding. That is exactly what we're gonna be doing. I'm going to skip the long intro, but before we dive in, go ahead and like and comment on this video and hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time we post a new video. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's fold a shirt. When you're folding a shirt with the print, make sure that it goes face down, and then you're gonna fold one side of the shirt and tuck in the sleeve about halfway and just repeat that on both sides. And so now you'll notice that this is gonna be the width of the fold and I have a perfect rectangle. Fold it up three fourths of the way and then you're literally just gonna fold it in half twice, right? And so now you have a perfect file fold and it stands up. There are a couple of ways to fold pants, but I'm gonna show you one way in this video. Go ahead, lay your pants on a flat surface, and then you are going to fold one side over the other. This crotch part area, go ahead and fold that in. And so again, you have that perfect rectangle. You can bring the legs up to the waist and again, fold it in thirds. That's it, you have a perfect file fold that stands up. Well, you know, the firmer the pant, <laughs> then it'll stand, no problem. Okay, folding a long sleeve shirt is just the same as folding any other shirt. You wanna make sure if there's a pattern, put that face down, and then you're gonna fold one half to the middle of the shirt and then just tuck the sleeve in, and then you're gonna follow that on the other side. Again, the width of this fold is gonna be the width of the shirt when you fall it. Fold up that bottom part three fourths of the way and then fold it in half. And then again, there you have the perfect file fold and it'll stand up for you when it's in the drawer. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to fold a scarf. As you can see that this is a pretty long scarf. So go ahead and fold it in half. And again, the goal when folding is to get something in a decent size rectangle. So I'm going to fold this again because it's too wide. Um, and then again, you'll notice this is still too wide for the fold that I wanna do. And so I'm gonna fold it in half again. So now I have the perfect rectangle for the width of this fold. Fold it about three quarters of the way up and then fold it in half twice. And then again, now you have the perfect file fold. Now here are the socks. I fold my socks opposed to like rolling them together because that messes with the elasticity. So now it's just a matter of folding them in thirds and then I use the organizers to stuff them in. And for the sake of showing you how to fold sets together like pajama sets or casual sets, go ahead and fold your bottoms how I already showed you how to fold them. And then you're just gonna take the shirt and roll it into the bottoms and now you have a set together. So this is really helpful for pajamas, especially for your littles, to make sure that the sets are always together. beautiful people and now you know how to fold your clothes to maximize the space in your drawers so hopefully you find this video helpful again like and comment and if you have not already hit that subscribe button so that you could be notified every single time I post a new video all right y'all until next week I will talk to y'all later peace